Hey peeps, what's up Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install the official build of Pixel Experience Plus or Normal Edition based on Android 13 on your Poco F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have TWRP recovery installed. How do you unlock the bootloader? How do you install TWRP recovery? Videos for those can be found in the description of this video. Another thing you need to note is that we are going to perform a format data which means you are going to lose all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device so make sure you do have a backup of all the important data which you have on your device and make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent do not and i repeat do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent another important thing to note is that i will be installing this official build of pixel experience based on android 13 on my xiaomi mi 11x or the poco f3 from mi ui however if you're running a custom rom which is based on aosp the steps will remain the same you just have to skip the steps which are not applicable to you so here it is this is the xiaomi mi 11x right now i am running mi ui 13 point 0.7.0 based on android 12 now the firmware is baked into the rom zip and of course the link to download the file can be found in the description of the video and we are going to use the normal edition for the purpose of this video but if you're using the plus edition of pixel experience android 13 the steps will remain the same next thing i recommend you do is go into settings password and security remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock once that is done you can go back go into me account and remove your me account and once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account now once you've removed all the accounts and security measures, make sure you reboot your device once. And before you ask me, hey Manchi, why are we removing all the accounts and security measures? We are doing this because we are switching ROMs and I don't want you to be locked out of your own device. Next thing we are going to do is we need to boot into our custom recovery. Now we are using DWRP for the purpose of this video. If you are using Orange Fox, Pitch Black, the steps are going to remain the same. You just have to find the corresponding menus. So first of all we are going to reboot our device now as soon as the screen goes black we are going to press and hold volume up so we rebooted our device once the screen went black or blank we are pressing and holding volume up so we have the poco logo or the xiaomi logo i felt a vibration pressing and holding volume up and pretty soon we should see the twrp splash image and then we should boot into our custom recovery so here it is twrp splash image and then we are going to boot into twrp so here it is we have successfully booted into our custom recovery herein first of all go into wipe advanced wipe select dalvik and then swipe to wipe once that is done tap on the home button then go into install and herein you will be in your internal storage which is your sd card select the download folder because this is where all the files are downloaded if you download them on your phone directly if you transferred the pixel experience official android 13 build from your computer then you would know the location select this file on the next screen make sure that these options are checked so disable auto reboot after update skip digest and automatically reflash twrp after flashing a rom so this last option of automatically reflash twrp or you might have inject twrp after rom install this needs to be checked because if this is not checked then it is going to replace with pixel experience recovery and i'm pretty sure you do not want that once you've made sure all these options are checked the next thing we're going to do is swipe to confirm flash and there it is you can see that the rom is being flashed to the inactive slot in my case that is slot b in your case it might be slot a and this process will take some time so you have to be patient now once the rom has flashed successfully you might get these failed to mount errors but no need to panic everything has flashed successfully because after flashing the rom we got step two by 
2. So next up we are going to tap on the home button, go into reboot and here in select recovery. At this point our Xiaomi Mi 11X or the Poco F3 or the Redmi K40 is going to boot back into TWRP recovery. Why? Because we had checked the option of installing TWRP recovery after flashing a ROM zip. So here it is. Team win splash image in the building and we are now into our recovery now you will go into wipe format data type in yes tap on the check mark on the bottom right and as i mentioned at the beginning of the video you are going to lose all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device because we just performed a format data next up all you need to do is say reboot system and pretty soon you should have the pixel experience boot animation on your Poco F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. So here it is, we are on the boot logo right now and there it is. We have the Google boot animation which means we are booting into official build of Pixel Experience based on Android 13 on the Mi 11X, the Poco F3 or the Redmi K40. The first boot up might take some time so you have to be patient. There it is, welcome to your Pixel initial setup. Let me skip that real quick. And there it is peeps, we have successfully installed the official build of Pixel Experience based on Android 13 on our Poco F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40 and that will do it for this one. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.